Hi there. You're in the lab with your mate JJ. I'm just recording a fresh video uh, introduction for the video that I did yesterday. Yesterday I recapped this thing, but I've uh, I've stickered it. The red sticker indicates that it's broken, and the yellow sticker with the cross in it means that there's no mod chip in this system. It's unmodified. Uh, it actually was even unopened. I had to pop it open yesterday for the first time. I found evidence of a lot of leaking capacitors. I recapped the power cap, so put in five new capacitors. Uh, I redid the thermal paste, and that went pretty well. Uh, but when I turned him all back on and plugged him all in, uh, after the operation, no power, just nothing. It wasn't fragging, it wasn't flashing, it didn't open, nothing happened. Uh, which makes me suspect the power board or something to do with the power circuitry. Um, yeah, I mean, it all looked okay to me on, on face value, so obviously there's some problem there. I'm probably going to need to pop the lid and start buzzing it out and just checking what's going on with that power supply, um, which will be a job for another day. In the meantime, I'm, I'm, I've labeled this system. I, I number all my Xboxes so I can make notes and just remember what I've done with them. This is X1022 which means it's the 22nd Xbox that I've purchased. I've actually purchased 36. Uh, I've sold a couple of them, but a lot of them are, are in storage uh, and broken. Most of them don't work, so I've, I've got a lot of uh, uh, specimens to work on. So uh, I, I can afford to break a few. I had no luck with this one so far, but I'm actually looking forward to having another go at it because... Uh, power, no power, seems like the sort of problem I might actually be able to fix. Uh, so that's good. Anyway, look, I just wanted to let you know, if you're going to watch this video, um, you know, that's up to you. You're more than welcome to watch the video. <laughs> uh, it's just, it might be perhaps not the best use of your time. I, uh, <clears throat> I, uh, I just sit there and work my way through the recapping. Um, I use it as an opportunity to try my new tool which is the uh, uh, the pros kit SS331 desoldering pump uh, I've never used one of these before so I'm just trying to learn how it works how to use it all that sort of thing um, and I don't have much luck with it I, I hope it's operator error and not that it's just a shit piece of equipment because it was a cheapo one I, it's it's not a, a, a expensive high quality bit of kit it's the budget option um, so maybe uh, you know buy cheap buy twice maybe it's no good uh, sometimes it works really great and sometimes it didn't work at all I'm going to try the smaller tip it came with three tips this is the medium size tip uh, I'm going to try it with the very small tip uh, on the basis that the smaller tip will have higher suction pressure because uh, it sucks more air through a smaller hole I don't know anyway I'm going to try the smaller tip and see if I have more luck. Uh, and uh, I still haven't really figured out what the optimal temperature to set this thing at is. I do think I did some damage with, to the tip by operating it at too high a temperature. Um, so, uh, yeah, I think i got to watch out for that. Anyway, look, in this video, I do a recapping of an original Xbox. Uh, I, I do a, a, a re-thermal paste as well. I fix up the thermal paste. Uh, so in the video, you will see me pop the lid, replace the caps, do the thermal paste, put everything back on, uh, switch, it in to, switch it on to see how we did and discover that it doesn't work. So that's how this video goes. It's a long video. Uh, if you feel like having a bit of a squiz at, at how you approach a recapping, this video might be of some interest, otherwise it might not be of interest, so uh, just just bear that in mind. I'll put a little note in the in the blog post that goes with this video about how to uh, to tell YouTube to play at faster than double speed. I don't know about you, but I, I like to put my videos at like three speed, three times speed when I'm watching them, just to really get through them quickly. It sounds like a chip, talking to the chipmunks, of course, but... Uh, I find that I can keep up with the video at three times speed. Of course, the user interface at YouTube only lets you go to two times speed. So uh, with this little hack that I'll give you in the notes, 
you can actually run it at three speed or any speed higher than that. But anything higher than three becomes pretty much impossible to follow along with. It's good for fast forward if you're just looking for a spot in the video that you swear you saw and you've got to watch the whole thing to find out where it is. So uh, anyway, I'll, I'll put that in the, in the blog post that goes with the video. Uh, this is the introduction for the video. So uh, we'll switch you over now to the video itself and you can watch me recap uh, a capacitor, uh, sorry, <coughs> recap an original Xbox, replace the thermal paste, uh, give my uh, pros kit SS331 desoldering pump uh, a, a run and uh, and then ultimately have no success with this particular Xbox. Um, but I'll come back to him in a future video. And look, this won't be the last recapping I do and hopefully I get better at it. So uh, in the in a future video, there will be more re recappings. Let me assure you, I've got a lot of them to do and that's probably the main thing that I'm going to be doing on this channel. Anyway, that's it. Uh, please enjoy the rest of the video. My uh, Pros Kit SS331 desoldering pump arrived this morning and I did the unboxing. Um, I thought I might give it a go and actually use it. So I thought, uh, since I was chatting to my mate Regnia, Regnia on Discord about... Uh, recapping a, a, an Xbox, I thought I might recap an Xbox. An Xbox here. I haven't had a look at this one yet, I don't think. Uh, I've got a, a box full of resistors here. So we'll just pop this guy open and pop out his... Uh, oh, I said resistors, I meant capacitors, of course. Um, I'll, I'll pop this guy open, take the caps out, put some new ones in, and see so how we go. Just want to really... Uh, put my new Pros Kit SS331 desoldering pump, you know, through some years so I can learn what it's like. So let's pop this guy open and recap him. Might as well get my soldering iron on. Can warm up while we open this guy. Now I'm going to need my Torx bit. So we'll uh, take that out. Ah. I haven't popped the lid off an Xbox for a while. I uh, I want to make myself a uh, a power supply. When I say make myself a power supply, I mean take an Xbox power supply out of an Xbox and put it into a separate case and run uh, some cables out of it so that I can test Xbox motherboards perhaps with less risk of electrocuting myself oh, that's not working let's see You know, I always want to play some tunes while I'm doing my work here, but I turn the tunes off because 
I figure that my viewers might prefer to run their own music while they're watching my videos. And if I'm playing music, how does it stop you from playing your own music? I'd be interested to know what you think about that. What do you reckon? Can I play music while I make my videos? I wouldn't want YouTube to uh, shut me down for some sort of copyright violation for whatever it is I was playing. So this is a uh, Seagate hard drive. smaller one for the rest of the screws. Can you see that? Oh no, you can't see that. What have I done? Sorry. Try to keep you in uh in the in the loop. There we go. So I just pulled out two. There's three. Uh, sorry, I didn't show you. I uh, wasn't paying attention. So uh, yeah, there's one here, there's one here, and there's one here. Not sure if you saw me get them all off the back. Now this is bolted in there. Now, you can unbolt the uh, hard drive um, if you want to, um, but we, this is, we're not doing anything with the hard drive, so we can just pop them out. Same with the DVD. Cap's a bit shot. Uh, can you see that? <clears throat> Bring it up for ya. You see it's a bit swollen on the top there and it has leaked a little bit. So uh, we're going to re recap him. Oh, that one looks like it's in bad, bad shape as well. So. Uh, they yeah, recapping it looks like it's in order. Now, uh, this guy hasn't been opened before. All of the seals were uh, still sealed. It's a pretty reasonable looking caps actually. So, uh, I was expecting... Oh look, it's a, it's a V1.6 board and the... Um, the big two farad or one farad cap is over here on this board. So that's what we're dealing with. We'll replace him as well, why not? Although he does look like he's okay actually. And I think that the uh, the clock capacitor was alright on the 1.6 boards. I'm still just getting back into the swing of things with this uh, Xbox, OG Xbox uh, refurb. So, uh, yeah, I forget what the deal is with the 1.6 uh, clock caps, but I think that they're okay. So we're going to take out the power caps, and it looks like these ones... Oh, look at that. Shit. It's, uh, it's got a uh, dunk on it there on the power cables as well. That's not real good. Let's have a look at the bottom of that uh, hard drive. Yeah, look at that. Do you see that? 
because uh, these caps have well and truly exploded and, uh, and they've blown electrolyte all the way up onto the, uh, onto the hard drive case. So yeah, those need to be replaced for sure. Might as well do the, uh, do the heat sinks as well, huh? Why not? I'll put the hot air on so we can get these guys open. Yeah, yucko. What a mess. Let's pop that guy out. Might just give that a bit of a clean. Yeah. Got my dirty brush from my dirty jobs. See, it's my dirty brush. Dirty, dirty, dirty. Alright. I'll, uh, I'll just get some IPA on this guy. It's my uh, isopropyl. Never leave home without it. It's not water. Don't spray water on your Xbox. But spray as much I a IPA, or also known as isopropyl, as you like. It'll uh, it'll just evaporate and it won't do any damage. Oh, look at that. That's made a real mess. Those caps have really <laughs> made a mess. Yucko. Oh, look. It's all out here as well. Can you see that? That's in really bad shape. That's really bad. Ah. That's, that's no good at all. I was just trying to show you there. Can you see how dirty that is? Look at that. Yucko. Yeah, I have to give that a clean. I might actually. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna um, clean the whole box. This one. I wasn't planning to, but I think we really need to take this guy to pieces and uh, and and might as well wash the whole case and everything up. Why not? Let's take that guy out and that guy out. Ah. This is turning into a big job. I was just going to do a cap replace, but now I'm going to do a, a, a thermal paste redo, and I'm going to do a place, paste clean. And this thing will be in uh, pretty good shape by the time we're done with it, unless we uh, make a mess of things, which is always a possibility. Sure, there's only two screws on the two screws on the power board. I might just uh, get that organised, huh? So we'll uh, we'll put the screws. Can you see over there? Yeah, not quite. Let's give you a bit of a view. Yeah. Um. So we'll, we'll put those there. Alright. So the three are for the drives and then there's two for the power. Two for power, three for drives. I'm pretty sure they're all the same size screw, um, but we'll keep them separate anyway. Why not, huh? So uh, two for the the power, and then I think there's seven on the board, isn't there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten maybe. Anyway, let's count them out. One, two, three, four, uh, five, six. I've lost him. Eight, nine, ten. I didn't think there were 
is 10. Am I missing one? I'm not saying any. You can see it, can't you, when you're saying he's missed one. I am not. There we go. don't want to touch your caps, you can hurt yourself because these things can store a wicked charge. So be careful. Actually, you know, I might uh, just put some, some gloves on. Uh, I had a, ba a, ba a box full of gloves uh, just to protect my hands. Oh, I'm working on the motherboard. <sighs> oh, shit. Oh. <sighs> so do the caps. Oh, look at that. Did you see that? That's not working for me today. I want to, the size M. I think that's about the right size for my hand. But uh, I might just switch out. I use these gloves instead. These are pretty good. They're a bit more durable than the, uh, the nylon ones. They're not actually nylon, are they? There's some other type of material. I forget what they call it. What do they call it? Nitrile. N-I-T-R-I-L-E. Nitrile. Alright. I always feel a little bit invincible when I put my gloves on. Like I can take on the world. Now... This guy has uh, leaked everywhere, so we're going to um, take this out and give it a wash. I guess I'll put it on pause while I do that. Why not, huh? There's no point keeping those separate. They're all the same type of screw. Now, do we need to clean these? They look kind of alright, don't they? You see that? Yeah. Put that in the back there. Might just give you a bit of a brush, huh? Yeah, look alright. So you what might do is some uh, some air. I got a uh, a blower. Let me show you this. Let's uh, pop him over there. This thing, check that out. It's a uh, air blower. So, uh, we can give these things a bit of a blow. Blow the dust out of them. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that's okay. Put your back over on the, on the Xbox. Scrub it up, dub. Now, what do we got there? It's not so bad, I thought it looked worse. 
He's in fairly good shape, that fan. That iron. fairly good shape really. Oh, nothing wrong with the fan. Yeah. It's not in such bad shape. I'll just give it a bit of a give it a bit of a spray. Give it a bit of a wipe with the chucks. cloth here so uh, we'll just give it a bit of a wipe down should be okay I don't, I don't think we need to go pulling this guy apart can you see that Yeah. Ah, cleaning the Xbox, cleaning the Xbox. All right, that's good enough to me. So let's recap this guy, huh? Now, apart from the capacitors, we're just going to do the uh, <coughs> the heat sinks as well. The heat sink and these caps. One, two, three, four, five. The rest of the caps look like they're okay. So. Uh, Paste, paste, cap, 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 cap. Five caps. I already said that, didn't I? Let's see it again. Now these are 330 microfarads at 6.3 volts. All of them are. Yeah. And uh, these two here and that one, they're all gone. These little guys look all right. So, now we get to see how good our, um, our desoldering gun is. So this is him, my new Pro's Kit SS331 desoldering gun. Looks pretty good to me. Pull the trigger and he starts pumping. 
So, there we go. Well, that's not working, is it? No, not working at all. What I might do, I've got some solder here, and my, my iron's all fired up. I've got a new bevel bit, can you see that? It's a bevel bit, uh, it's flat and conic, it's not conical, it's ovular, flat. My mate Bruce from uh, Brankus Creations mentioned the bevel tip and I thought I'd give it a go. Now I've burnt some plastic on this here. This is in bad shape. Probably got to get myself a new one. Anyway, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to put some uh, some solder on uh, on these caps so I can pull them out better. Let's reflow. So let's see. Solder, 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 solder. Let's put some fresh leaded solder onto the caps and then we'll try our, our suction pump gun thingo again. Now I don't have any experience with these suction pumps, so I have seen other people use them. But I, my one arrived this morning. I've never used it before. So I might be doing it all wrong if I am. And you know, feel free to tell me. It's having a go. You know, I might um, I might get some uh, some flux on there as well. Those, uh, those look pretty dry, actually. Now, I've got a flux pen, and I've never used a flux pen. Ever, I don't think. Not in anger, anyway. I think I've had a bit of a test with one. Don't seem to be able to find it. I thought I had one. Maybe not. I thought I had one in that container. Anyway, look, I've got this flux here. It's in a, came out of this multifunction non cleaning flux. And I poured it out of this into this. And I got this little. Uh, can you see that? Maybe there. Yeah, I've got this uh, sort of needle tip uh, for dispensing it. So let's put some solder on it, some flux on it. Huh? Um, and maybe that'll uh, maybe that'll help our solder to flow when we hit it with the the heat pump. All right. So <laughs> here we go. My hands are real shaky. can't say I'm impressed. Not at all. Let's try again. Yeah, it's kind of okay. Well, I think um, uh, when you want to use this guy, it seems to me 
using it side on is considerably more effective because um, you're not fighting gravity. So uh, that's a good thing to have figured out, isn't it? That looks actually quite good now. I think those might have even just come completely clear. There's not even a residual little little bit. Still, I think I'll push them out from this side with the uh, with the soldering iron. So let's see how we go doing that. Um, push him out. No, he doesn't want to go out. He's still stuck. That thing. No. 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 Oh, my soldering iron's only on 305. I'm going to turn that right up. Let's give it 350, huh? Up we go, 350. understand why these caps don't just pop out. I really would have thought that they would. Let's try pulling him out at the same time. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Alright. Now, the white side is the negative side. We can Remember that, can't we? White side is negative. Let's get this guy over here. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this one came out a lot easier. There she go. Pop, there we go. And again, the white side is negative. And in out, he's going okay. There we go. And the white side is negative. Now I'm pretty sure all of these are three hundred three thousand three hundred microfarads at six point three volts. Now I believe that these power caps are what they call low ESR. Um, I uh, do have an ESR meter, so maybe we might have a look at the caps and just see uh, see what their ESR is after we've replaced them. Might do that in a separate video because this video is going to be pretty long. I'm going to do the recapping and I'm going to do New solder paste. Not going to change the clock capacitor though. I think that the 1.6 motherboards uh, don't need it and it does look like it's okay to me. So, you know, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Well, I have to say, uh, you know, having used my Pro's Kit SS331 desoldering pump for the first time that I'm pretty pleased with it. That works fairly well. Uh, definitely use it side on, I think. Um, I'm not an expert, but uh, it seems to work pretty well to me side on. Now, let's put some new caps in, huh? I got a box full of capacitors. Let me show you. Oh, I've made a mess of the bench. I just spilled some flux. Tidy that up. 
Alright. Here's my capacitor box. Can you see that? So, uh, I got Chong Low ESR. Chong Low ESR. You see that? Let me see. Chong Low ESR. So if that's what it says on the tin, I'm just going to believe it, huh? I've got other options, but these ones are small and they're um, 6.3 volts, 3,300 microfarads, low ESR. Just need five of them. And uh, they ought to do the job. What do you reckon? Let's give them a go. Should we do the should we do the heat sinks first? Or should we do the capacitors first? Look at that, it's a real mess. Did you see that that leaky uh, can you see that? That yellow yellow right there. That's all leaky capacitor gunk. Get that out of there. That's a real mess. Now more isopropyl. Now remember it's not water. Let's give it all a bit of a plan. Now I've got some uh, cotton buds, or as our American friends refer to them, Q-tips. I don't know, is Q-tips a brand name? I'm not sure. Uh, in Australia, they're just generally called cotton buds. Not to be confused with cotton balls, which are uh, those great big tufts of cotton. Good for when you cut yourself, really. I have a bag of cotton balls in my lab. I'm not a tend to use them much. There's a bit of gunk over here as well. I'm not sure what all that is. I've, uh, I've got an interest in surface mount technology. I, uh, I don't have much experience with it, but I, uh, I was doing a little job for a mate and I needed some uh, components, some small SMD um, capacitors and resistors. So I went shopping to buy them and I found various sizes. I think I got the 0603 and the 080 something and I think it was the 1206 as well. They haven't arrived yet. I'm waiting for them to turn up. I bought a whole lot of them off AliExpress. Um, in the in the in the book format, you know, you, you get those uh, capacitor books, resistor books. So I'm looking forward to those arriving, and uh, I've got to figure out how to do the the soldering. I'm not really an expert at that yet. Now we got a bit of solder in the uh, in the capacitor hole there. I might. Uh, I might just reflow all of these and hit them with the uh, <coughs> solder braid. See if we can clean it up a bit. Oi, oi, oi. I want to go in. Oh. 
might not have been the smartest move. Putting more solar in here, I, uh, I've seen people do that. It, uh, it can help uh, the, uh, the solar wick get some fresh solar in there. And uh, I don't know, maybe it does. Maybe it doesn't, we could say. Perhaps we'll find out soon. Let's get some extra flux on this guy. Flux, flux, flux. Alright. I bought a whole lot of solder wick. I, uh, I have this one here. It's uh, 2.5 mil. There you go. I've got my little tin snips over here. I'll get those on there as well. So let's see how we go. I've knocked my uh, isopropyl off the bench. Put that back there. Yeah. seem to work particularly well at all. No, that's rubbish. Let's give our uh, let's give our mate a go. It's not really working very well at all. No. It's kind of terrible actually. Maybe you can go on this side. See, it's gone into sleep mode, and the and the um, the tips temperature's gone down. So I'm just watching him. He's backed up to about 280. So let's give him a chance to get up to 350, and then uh, maybe it'll be more effective. Oh look, I've sucked in a whole lot of uh, uh, flux. Can you see the flux in there? sort of uh, fluid, you can see it looks like condensation. That's interesting. Alright, the temperature is up to 346, 347. So it's pretty close to where we want. Let's give him another go. Yeah, that worked quite well. That didn't work so well. I'm still learning how to use this thing. I, I might uh, see if giving him a clean helps at this stage. There we go. Seems to be fairly clean. Let's get him on there again and give him another go. I kind of feel like the suction could be uh, greater on this thing. Yeah. Maybe I should use the smaller tip, I'm not sure. This is the medium tip. There was uh, three sizes of tip. Mm. I, 
can't say I'm a huge fan of this tool. It's not. Uh, it's not really wowing me. It's. Uh, yeah. I don't know. Maybe I just don't know how to use it properly. The. Uh, the suction circuit seems to be closed. Oh gee, I really burnt myself there. Whoops. <laughs> like I got gloves on. Gloves make you feel invincible, you see, and then you do silly things like burn them. Gee. Alright. Well, let's try it uh, on a bit of an angle here. No. Let's try it so the heat goes right up. Let's give it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, I gave it a pretty good go and it uh it doesn't I don't think it's getting hot enough in there. I'm a bit worried about giving it too much heat though. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. No, still not working. Well, I'm going to be brave and put this up to, uh, let's say, 375. I don't want to go over 380 because I've heard that can uh, damage tips and the actual tip melts. Uh, I'm going to uh, add some solder and see if that uh, is a technique that's useful at all. So check in that we've got it out. I'll put him in there. Okay, add some solder. Alright. So this guy is up at 375. We put some fresh solder in our holes. Now let's see what we can do. Yeah, that worked really quite well. Yep, so the combination of fresh solder and putting the temperature up to 375, that definitely helped and they're both clear now. So I might uh, not add the solder here and we'll hit him with the pump and just see uh, what kind of luck we have. No luck there. No luck there. So it looks like adding solder is definitely the way to go. Let's see, huh? Let's try it again and see if it helps. And if it does, we're learning. Running out of solar here, I'm going to need to cut some more off in a second. So, bit of solder. Bit of solder. Put in heaps, huh? Seems to help. Seems to help. So, let's give him another go. Alright. On. Suck. Ripper. On and suck. Not quite. On and suck. Yeah, okay. Oh, uh, look, it's. Let's go on and suck. Yeah, that got him. Beauty. Those look like they're in pretty good shape. Alright, well, 
let's uh, let's do our trick. And I've got a little bit of leftover solder, just a bit. So uh, let's use the tweezers. All right. Now we've got that clear. Where are the other ones? One, two, three, four. Where are they? Ah, oh, yeah, the other one's over here. All right. Just getting some experience with this bevel tip. I uh, I don't think I've ever used a bevel tip before, uh, so I'm not really sure the best way to go about it. Ah. There we go. solder left so we'll put him in the bin. Alright. Well sucking time. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And one, two, three, four. That goes pretty well. One, two, three, four. Yeah. All right. Oh, we're kind of getting there. All right. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Yeah. One, two, three, four. I need to start to get the hang of this tool. I'm thinking I might use the smaller one though. I don't know. Yeah. So it sort of seems like if it's not working for you, add solder. That seems to be the trick. So far anyway, doesn't it? Had some luck with adding solder. Hey. Uh, here we go. Yeah, that worked great. Oh, actually, no, I didn't do it. got this figured out, I tell ya. Yeah. I'll tell ya, <clears throat> why wouldn't I give the old solder pump a go and just see if, uh, if it's more effective because it would be interesting to know, wouldn't it? If I'm having trouble with a bit, what about the old solder sucker? That didn't work. What about from the back? didn't work either. 
Alright, so it just seems to be a bit stubborn. <coughs> I'm gonna uh I'm gonna just try resoldering it and then uh, pumping it again. Let's do it from the back here. Alright, in we go. Got a bit of a chance to heat up. Add some solder. So, the fresh solder did seem to help. Alright. And on we go. And on. I'm not sure if that works well or not. Just uh, still getting the hang of the tool. Can you see that? Just trying to get the uh, planer in there. Okay, there he goes. Alright. Now, let's try it again. One, two, Seeing if angles help at all. can hear it uh, struggling, laboring uh, when you push it close in, which indicates that it's actually sealed. So there should be a fair bit of suction. I'm hoping I hear it uh, sucking the solder. Alright. I'm going to put the temperature on this thing as high as it goes. Hopefully I don't ruin this board, but if I do, there will be other boards. Okay, this thing goes all the way up to 480 degrees, which is insane. I'm going to put it down to, let's say, uh, 450, 450, still an insane temperature. Anyway, 450, give 450 a go, huh? Alright, 443, it's pretty warm now. So. Let's try it again. Man, I'm really surprised this isn't working. There's just a little bit of solder right in there. Coming out. 
here. I'm uh, just going to go all the way to the end. Why not? Bring all the way up. 480. Insane. Uh, and rather than just hitting it at 480, <laughs> can't believe I'm going to 480. Um, I'll give it some fresh solder as well, and we'll see if we have luck on the next attempt. Presumably, if 480 was just dead set dangerous, they wouldn't allow you to take it all the way up that high. But, uh, who knows? Well, I managed to spit a bit of solder on myself there, so I'm glad I was wearing gloves, because that wouldn't have tickled. Alright, well, we had a go, but it didn't get all the way through. Let's give it a go from this side. Nope. Man, I am not having any luck with this. it as a soldering iron with the desoldering braid. It's not working. cleaning off my solder wick. Alright. Well, I'm not having as much joy with the uh, soldering pump as I had hoped I would have. I mean, some of them came off easy, but this particular one not happening for me. Let's give it a go with the solder wick. luck. really remarkable. It's, it's kind of terrible. Well, let's see if I can get... Alright. I'll just, uh... Might, uh... See if I can hold this board.
sort of um, plant. Can you see that? Yeah, you can. That's good. Now, I'm going to just get rid of this. Because that's not helping. Alright. Yeah. Let's give him a poke. See if we can uh, incentivize him. Can you see that? Not quite. It's not working at all. Alright, man, we're going to have to try some new techniques, I think. First of all, I'm going to take my soldering iron offline, and we'll let it sit there for a bit and cool down. And I'm going to get myself a really small, conical uh, bit. So, here's my bits. And we want a really fine conical bit. Yeah, look at that one. He's a beauty. What do you reckon? Can you see that? Uh, good one. We'll give this guy a go. I reckon, and uh, maybe we'll have some luck. That bevel bit can't get it in into the uh, hole. It's not transferring enough heat. So I'm not sure how hot that guy is. How long does he take to cool down? <clears throat> All right. Hit him one more time while we're waiting for the iron to cool down. It's just 
just no good. It won't work. Now, I tell you, I might uh, give the old thermometer a, a go. I'll turn this guy on. Let's see if we can get a reading on this tip. It says uh, 100. It's actually interesting. You see um, that the temperature is mostly in the handle, hardly in the tip at all. You see that? And the handle's still at 100 degrees. It's cooling right down, though. Max 100 degrees. 98, 97, 98. Yeah. Alright, it's going to take a bit longer to cool down. I wonder what it'll tell me about this guy. Three him, huh? It is interesting to see where the uh, temperature is. It's much hotter in the base than it is in the, in the tip. Much, much hotter in fact. Fascinating. Well, it's turned up to uh, 480, but it's not at 480, it's not even close. It's at uh, about 200. So, I think I'm going to have no fear operating this thing at 480. It just means max power, and uh, yeah, it's only rocking around uh, 180 degrees. It's probably one of the reasons why um, it's not working particularly well. It doesn't seem to be particularly hot. Yeah. All right. Yeah, well, I think uh, there's just no reason to operate at any less than the maximum temperature because it's not getting particularly hot at all. And this iron is still at 84 degrees. Still, it's not boiling. Uh, I wonder. Just pop them off. As long as I'm not melting, I'm happy. There we go. All right. We'll put our new little conical bit on. Nice, nice and tight. All right, put our conical bevel bit away, bevel back. Let's turn this guy on. Now let him warm up. Man, I could do with some more coffee. I might put you guys on pause and go and make myself a coffee. <sighs> this is going to be a long video. I wasn't mean, planning to make a long video. I was going to do a quick recap. I 
this soldering iron says it's at 350 degrees, but uh, I'm not getting much heat transfer through that tip. Not much at all. I'm a bit worried about putting it too high because if it goes over 380 degrees, it'll uh, it'll melt. It says that it's at 180. Let's put him up. Try him at 400. Can you see that? Max temp 213, 216, 226, 228. 230. Now I'm going to put this guy all the way up. Let's see how hot we can get him. Two hundred. Forty seven, two fifty, two sixty. Two sixty we've got. 265, 267, 270, 280, 274, 280. Okay, that looks like we're getting up to about 280. Let's try that, huh? Pop it in there. rubbish. Maybe I need to get myself a better soldering iron. It's not working at all. Let's see if we can uh, put in some fresh solder with this tip. Heat transfer off this tip is terrible. All right, I'm gonna turn him off. I'm gonna put you guys on pause. I'm gonna go make myself a coffee. I'll let that chip, uh, that tip cool down, and. Uh, I'm going to replace it with a chisel tip. Let's find a chisel tip. There's a, a big one. I'll give him a go. Actually, um, I might use old trusty here. He's quite a bit smaller, but I've had some luck with him. So, uh, yeah, alright. I'm going to take a break, and I'll be back in a second. Well, I'm back. I got my coffee. I uh, I was thinking while I was making my coffee, and I suspect what the problem is, is that I'm operating my soldering iron, my heat gun, and the desoldering pump all off the same circuit board, same power board, at the same time. I reckon there's not enough power uh, being delivered to drive all of those loads. I think my mum's in the other room using the uh, uh, vacuum cleaner. Uh, I think we have a power problem. 
So I'm going to put everything back down to 350 degrees. Things haven't been getting above 200 odd degrees. So uh, I suspect <coughs> that it's a power problem. Um, and if it is, the easy solution is just operate one device at a time. So I'm going to turn off the soldering iron and I'm going to let the uh, Okay, off, off, and uh, I'm going to put him down to 350, which makes me feel a lot more comfortable. Okay, it says 350. Oh no! I think I've done damage to this tip. Oh, how annoying. Yeah, I don't know. It doesn't look like it's in good shape at all. I think uh, I definitely made a mistake by putting that up to 400 and something degrees and then walking away and leaving it sitting there it's uh it doesn't look happy at all does it can you see that look at that it looks like i've damaged it for sure it does <sighs> that's awful wow I'm just going to put my gloves back on in case I have more uh, solder spitting incidents like previously. Ah, dear me. Things are better with coffee, that's for sure. This is taking much longer than I thought it would. All right. Well, it says it's at 350. Um, and it's got a temperature sensor in it. So. Let's have another look at it, huh? it says it's set on uh, 350 but it's only up to about 160 yeah. all right well 160 is not really hot enough to melt solder we really need it to get up around about 180 so it's at 170. It says 150. All right, I'm going to put him up. I'm going to put him up to. Let's try 410 and just see what what we can get. That says 150. we've got. Oh, it's good. It's getting right hot up in the tip. 170, 180, 
Okay, that's good. I'm pretty happy with that. That's set at 410, and we're getting about nearly 200 degrees in the tip, which is hot enough to melt lead. Actually, just put him back this way. Oh, that didn't sound good, did it? Let's just try using him as a soldering iron. See if we can do that. Yeah, that's no good at all. Did you see that ball of solder that formed there? This flux, I'm not really impressed by it. I tell you, if I'm going to be uh, messing around with that, I think it's uh, safety goggles time. I don't want to flux myself in the face. Well, we've got through. I don't know how impressed I am by this piece of equipment, though. Anyway, so we've done uh, two of them, and uh, we've just got uh, one more to go. Plus, I just need to clean this one out just a little bit better too, I think. Um, let's just try again.
that looks good. Me. Not having the joy with this thing I thought I was going to have. Oh, that works good. Yeah, neat. Alright. Well, I can't say I've got the hang of this thing yet, but it's not a complete write off. Might have just been a, 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 a tricky, uh, tricky joint. All right, well, I'm going to turn him off. And uh, I'm going to put this guy back on. Now he's at 480, which is silly. I'm going to put him back down to 350. $350. Ah. Uh, before we do that, let's switch out the tip. This silly little conical bit, we don't want to use that. Gee, I shouldn't have touched that. Dear me. fire in back up. Get rid of this conical bit. We didn't have any luck with him, did we? Alright. So. I think we're ready to recap this guy. Now. Short is negative <sighs> I think in the future when I'm operating uh, the desoldering pump I'll uh, make sure I've got my soldering iron turned off uh, while I'm using it, just to make sure that it gets as, not, as much power as it can get from the wall. Have I lost a capacitor? I think I have. Oh, there he is. All right. Now. 
All right. Okay, well, he says he's at 350. I think you probably believe him. What do you reckon? I don't know if I like this flux. It's just a bit too watery. It's hard to uh, to use. Still, let's give it a go. came down the bottom there. Not water, isopropyl, also known as IPA. It's cleaning off the the flux.
Oh, this recapping took much longer than I thought it would take. Um, maybe I'll get more efficient at it when I uh, have more experience with my tools. I, uh, I think I'm going to give that desoldering pump like a 6 out of 10 maybe. Uh, it didn't, it didn't uh, rock my world, honestly. Um, but I did get there in the end, so there, that's something, isn't it? Uh, and uh, the solder wit and the solder pump weren't really doing much better, so I think I just had a stubborn joint, really. So if that's how it is, it's hard to blame the tool for that. But uh, time will tell. We'll be doing more recappings. In fact, this channel might just turn into John Recapping Xbox's channel. This is the first video I've done, but I expect there will be many more. And maybe I'll get better at it. And you won't have to sit there for as long. What should we get it all done? Assuming you're interested in this kind of thing, and I can only imagine you are, if you've watched this far. So, it looks like it's fairly clean to me. Um, now it's time to do the... Uh, solder paste. So let's do that. I don't think we're going to need this guy anymore. We can get rid of him. Just put him back. <sighs> I'm a bit weary. soldering line. Now, let's take off the uh, man, these are so easy to snap. I, I worry every time just need a little lever and there we go. I'm getting in there. And so close. There we go. Alright. There we go. There's one, and then this one is easy, aren't you? Down you go. Dear me. There we go. And pop. There we go. Oh look, he came right off. Usually they're hard to get off, so that's uh, probably not a good sign. <clears throat> now, the best tool for this job, in my experience, is some tongs. So let's give him a go, huh? You just uh, heat up the heat sink and keep applying a little bit of pressure side to side with the uh, tongs and eventually it just pops off. Look at that. Easy peasy. Now the way to clean these guys 
is some magical stuff called Gugon. I have some Gugon in a bottle here. I find that the uh, the Gugon sort of corrodes the um, that's goo gone. Do you see? That's my label. <laughs> um, it corrodes the uh, the thing, so I, I popped it out and I just stick a um, stick a Q-tip in there and get some on that, and then that can be used to clean this. Look at that, all that black gunk coming off. I don't know how much I care about cleaning the sides of this thing. I reckon if it's clean on the top, it's probably good enough. Do I care to clean the sides? I don't know. I think I'm just going to clean it until it comes back white, huh? Let's do a good proper job. Do the whole thing. Look at that. That's black. Ah, more goo gone. I love this stuff. It's kind of magic. Some real messy bits coming off on that. So after we clean these guys, we'll be sticking some uh, some fresh thermal paste on top. tools that this morning I might just use that cut off that bit of black stuff yeah. I don't want to do any damage yeah. alright <sighs> 
let's just pick up those big bits with the Q-tip. Big bit. Big bit. Oh, I didn't get that well enough. Let's give it another go. thermal paste that we're looking at there. Make sure I don't do any damage to the uh, to the tracks. Hopefully I haven't. More IPA. Clean off the goo gone. One nice clean Nvidia chip there. All right. So this is the CPU, the one that we just did was the GPU, the NVIDIA. I don't know how much we uh, care about getting all of the stuff off it. I don't want to uh, risk damaging it with the scalpel. But I kind of can't help myself. Hopefully I don't uh, do any damage here. Oh, there we go. Look, I got that great big chunk. That was easy. And I'm pretty sure I didn't do any damage. So, uh... We won't tempt fate, and we'll just stick with the Q-tips. Give it another once over. Might hit it with some goo gone. Love my goo gone. Stuff's kind of like magic. Yes. All right. You know, I was just going to recap this guy and finish the video, but I think since we've come this far, um, when we're done, we'll pair him back up and see if he actually works. Because there is some chance that he won't. I didn't try turning it on, actually, before I, uh, I popped the lid. Uh, if I have tested it before, I didn't make any notes about it. So I'm not sure whether it was working or was not working, but I can tell you those capacitors weren't in good shape when I got the lid off. So I'm glad I didn't uh, turn it on because I might have just done some damage. Um, and uh, the two main things to do when you're servicing an Xbox are recap the power adapter the power capacitors and reheat sync the GPU and the CPU. If you do those two things, that's the main things. I suppose you can clean the DVD wrong as well. Um, and you can, I guess, upgrade the hard drive. But those aren't the main 
things. The main thing is recap and new thermal paste. If you do those two things, you might manage to salvage your old Xbox. Alright, well I'm pretty happy with that. Pretty happy. Oh man, I made some mess with the flux on this side of the board as well. It's no clean fox though, so uh, shouldn't corrode anything. It's a bit of a mess though. Yeah, alright. We'll hit him with some more isopropyl and see if we can get that all tidied up. Doing the duty. a while since I've done an Xbox refurb. Looking forward to doing a lot more and getting really good at it. Got to learn how to do the uh, EEPROM dumps. Got to make myself a test power supply. And I've got various little things that I want to get done. There was some markings on the board there. Someone's hit it with texture. I think they do that at the, uh, at the factory, actually. They must, because this board was uh, still under warranty when I got it. I mean, of course it wasn't still under warranty, but uh, the, uh, the, the seals were intact. Uh, could do with a bit of a clean. Might as well keep going, huh? is a, um, a bit of a mess actually. I don't know what got all over it. Well, 
it must have been electrolyte, I guess, from the leaky capacitors, but it seemed to get bloody everywhere. I wonder if I need to clean the other side as well. I'll check. It's got a hair there. Looking forward to learning how to do some mod chips. I've uh, had a bit of a play with that, but uh, I've got a lot to learn. Saw some of those open Xenian chips, they look pretty cool. And someone's uh, figured out how to manufacture them again. Apparently they went off the market for a while, but some guys figured out how to make them. And he's published all of his stuff, so I'll definitely be checking that out. And uh, I'll be making videos about that on this channel in the future, for sure. Now those motherboards look, motherboard looks pretty good. So let's uh, let's just clean off these heat sinks. Going to need the goo gone for these, that's for sure. All right. Well. This could take a while. <sighs> I wonder if soaking it in some IPA might help. Let's let him soak for a bit. That looks like a uh, razor might help. Not sure if I've got a razor. I might have a quick look. I do have a razor. Let's put it in the gown, huh? I think I'd be more careful with the sharp blade. All right. Oh, look at that. Straight off. Wonderful. I'll remember that for next time. All right. Yeah, okay, so uh, Razor worked well, for the record. Might as well just use a little bit more goo gone, and then we'll finish him off with IPA.
fair bit of consumables go into the uh, Xbox refurb. Need uh, Q-tips and tissues and isopropyl and goo gone. All right. Well, those look like they're in pretty good shape now. Let's give them one last hit with the IPA. Get rid of the goo gone. We're all done with him. Yeah. One more Q-tip. Got some books yesterday. Got a couple of interesting ones, a few fiction ones that I was kind of interested in. I got uh, Sherlock Holmes, A Study in Scarlet. And I got uh, Alice in Wonderland which I was surprised is actually uh, quite a small book. It's not that big. Lewis Carroll, of course, wrote it. I don't think I've ever read it. I've probably seen it on TV or something. Everyone knows Alice in Wonderland. Cheshire Cat, Mad Hatter. Who doesn't know that? And I haven't read uh, any Sherlock Holmes before. Up to my memory, anyway. All right, well, it's going to hit him with the brush. Where's the brush? This doesn't look as clean as it could be. Squeaky, though. Squeaky clean. That looks pretty good to me. Now I'm not sure what uh, kind of thermal paste I'm rocking. I've got some. But I'm not sure if it's any good or what its properties are. I don't know a lot about thermal paste. I tried to buy the expensive thermal paste one time and the guy at the store looked at me like I was mad. He said, but it comes with thermal paste. So I think he thought whatever the default paste was, was good enough. And if that's what the computer guy thought, it might very well be the case. Now, what are we going to do? Thermal paste. So I've got that guy. You see him? GD900. I have no idea if this is any good or how much I need. Anyway, that's what we got. I'll give him a go. Just trying to undo this thing. It seems a bit. Uh, might uh, crack the knife for this guy. Thermal brace. Now, I 
don't know how much of this we're going to need. I suppose a big dollop. Get the May. Nope. Mm. Mm. Not a mess of that. Sound good. Yeah. Have I broken it? Not sure. Oh, yeah. Now, it's not quite in properly. put this in the wrong way, I'm not sure why it's not going in. That is not working. What have I done there? That's not so bad. So rubbish. I'm going to try it the other way. I, I didn't think it went that way, but it doesn't seem to be working this way, so maybe this will help. Have you been watching me screaming at me the whole time while I got it wrong? Going, you've got it the wrong way. 
and you were just waiting for me to figure it out, you could have told me. Yeah, that looks much better. I didn't think it went that way, but this actually works. I wonder if I should put on some more grease. I am going to put on some more grease. Actually, that didn't seem particularly necessary. Anyway. Now, I've heard some people swear by putting heaps of thermal grease on, and I've heard other people say less is more. I don't know what the truth is. Now, put him on there. Push him down there. And push him down there. Alright, I'm pretty happy with that. It's not what I was expecting, but it seemed to have worked okay. And uh, we got our new caps, got our new heat sinks, or well, new thermal paste on our old heat sinks. I think we're ready to put this guy back together. Put the knife away. Give him a bit of a clean before we do. the lid
may. So what do we reckon? Is he going to work when we power him back up? He might. But he might not. This has been a very long job. I, uh, I think I'll get better at it. Certainly got plenty of room for improvement, that's for sure. Now I had a coffee kicking around somewhere. I'm done with my safety glasses. Put them away. Now, let's put this guy back together. So, four screws in the front. I tell you, I've got a little uh, magnetizing doodad, so I might just hit it with that. Try and keep my uh, my drill bit magnetized so it holds onto the screws for me. You definitely want one with a button. Damn. Because, uh, Using a screwdriver it gets pretty tired pretty quickly. I bought some more Torx screwdrivers actually. Um, and uh, I've got to get some Torx bits. I'm not sure if I did or not. I'll have to confirm. In the meantime, I've got this, this little setup. It works fair, fair enough. It's actually... Uh, it's this little bit goes into this thing. Works well enough, but it's not one piece. Not that that's particularly important. Much luck. Now, where does that go? I'm pretty sure he's. Where is he? There he is. This is rubbish. I don't know why it's not working. Oh dear me, almost there. Yeah. 
Okay, in future I'm going to put the screws in before I put the uh, the cables in. Now I did mention my driver. There we go. Now I remember counting out ten, so if we count in ten, we should be done. I think I threaded that one. Oh well. I tell you what, the magnetic tip is rubbish. No good at all. Maybe when my new Torx bits arrive, they'll have decent uh, magnetic tips that actually work. <sighs> I've lost count. Dear me, I have to say I'm really quite weary, it's been a long day, and a long video. So, I hope that when I put this all back together, that it actually works. It would be pretty disappointing if we spent our whole day working on a system which doesn't work after we put it back together and I have to say I've certainly done that before these uh, are old equipment and uh, they can and do and will fail uh, and all sorts of things can go wrong with them Dear me, almost there. If I could put that on there, if it could make a difference. Nope. I was just hoping for just a little tad of magnetism. Oh, there we go. This one's much more magnetic. Okay, that's good. We'll just use the old screwdriver. It's a handle, no button. At least it's probably magnetic. Quite happy. Quite happy with that in the end. All right. Now, we're going to need Let's put 
back in. Oh, I see what the problem with those screws was. I put them on the magnetic um, magnet and that actually magnetized them with the opposite polarity to my screwdriver. That explains that. I saw one of them repel and I thought that was a bit odd. But uh, a magnet will only repel if there's uh, two magnetized parts, otherwise it'll attract if you've got one charged north or south doesn't matter if you're just hitting it something neutral oh no not sure where this one goes oh it goes there doesn't it i'm not sure it must go there one two Sure, where the third one goes. All right. Now we've got 
comme ça. Controller. Now, I will get to see if it comes online or not. I haven't got the HDMI adapter set up yet. I will have that in future videos. But uh, for now, I'm just going to throw the power. Okay. And button. And nothing. That is not what I was expecting. Ah. Let's just uh, confirm power. How disappointing. We've got uh, no power on the power. So, uh, not sure exactly what the problem is, but this guy won't power on. So, uh, that's a kind of bizarre kind of error. It's not fragging, it's just nothing. So, uh, I'll have to have a look at him again another day, and uh, this video is already quite long, so I'm going to say that is an unsuccessful recapping, and uh, heat shrinking, well not heat shrinking, heat sinking. So uh, yeah, that's a little bit disappointing in the end. Anyway, we got to uh, try out the new Pro's kit. SS331 soldering pump. I'm going to give it a 6 out of 10. And uh, we've done the recapping and we've powered him back up and there's no power. So I have to look at that uh, in the future and see if I can figure out what the problem might be. Uh, anyway, uh, thanks for watching and maybe see you in the next video.